Hey everyone, it's Jenny from the channel The Story Ain't Over, and welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Epic Book Regs. So this is the monthly series that I do here on the Epic Reads channel, where I recommend a bunch of books based on a certain theme. So for today's video, I thought I would tell you about the top six books that are on my fantasy TBR. So these are the six YA fantasy books that I really want to pick up soon and read, because they all seem super interesting and have some really exciting concepts. All right, so the first book that I want to talk about is Witch is Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart and I'm so excited to talk about this because it is a Jamaican inspired YA fantasy and with two sort of rivaling characters that are coming together. So our first character is Iraya who is the heir to a magically gifted dynasty that was overthrown and so she was stolen from her island kingdom and has been in a cell for most of her life. And then we have Jasmine who is dressed in gold and has stolen magic at her fingertips. She is the daughter of the Doyen who took over Iraya's kingdom. And from what I can tell from the description, Jasmine's older sister also died in service of giving her mother more power. And so Jasmine has no intention of dying in order to strengthen her mother's power. And so Jasmine and Iraya form a unlikely alliance. They are sworn enemies. Jasmine's family has sort of destroyed Araya's future, but they both have a common enemy, which is Jasmine's mother, the Doyen. And it also seems like both these characters are witches, which you can tell from the title, but also from the description. And I'm very interested to see the sort of magic that plays into this, and if Jasmine has any of her own magic, or if it's all stolen magic from Araya's family. And I also just love the concept of vengeance and how Araya is going to take her revenge on the Doyen and reclaim what is hers. All right, the next book that I want to talk about is Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett, and I'm so excited for this one because it's sort of giving me The Witcher vibes, and from what I can tell from the description, it looks like the main character, Rags, is a two-bit thief who is always trying to score something in Queen's City, but when one of his jobs goes sideways, he gets nabbed by the royal sorcerer named Morien, and Morien is only willing to let him go if Rags agrees to steal these ancient fey relics for him. And there are six that he wants to steal. And Rags is like, okay, I'll go along with this plan until he finds out that the relics are actually people. And so I'm gonna read you the little descriptions of each of these characters. A distractingly handsome fey prince who has been asleep for centuries. A queen's guard deserter with more honor than common sense. A daughter of a disgraced noble family who hits first and asks questions later. A deceptively sweet-natured prince. And a member of of an underground resistance who is neither trusting nor trustworthy. And then we also have Rags, who ends up being one of these relics. And so obviously Rags does not want Morian to use him and the other relics for his dark plans, and so he's determined to stop him along with these other people. And I'm just so interested by this because it seems like it's set in a fantasy city, but it also has all of these very interesting people coming together, and it is giving me just so many fantasy ensemble cast vibes, and I just love it. It. So very excited to pick this one up. All right, this next book is one that I'm so excited for. The second I heard about the concept, I was like, I need to pick this up. And that book is A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. The reason I'm so excited for this one is because it seems like a mashup between The Cruel Prince and The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare, with also a setting in Toronto, which is in Canada. And I am from Toronto, if you guys didn't know, so I'm super excited about this. But basically in this version of our world, for centuries, the eight courts of folk or fairies have been hiding in plain sight and concealing themselves from the mortal realm and they have been bound by magic to do no harm to humans in order for them not to be revealed and they are also concealed by magic. But things start to go awry when a series of ritualistic and gruesome murders start to occur in Toronto and they are sort of pointing to the fairy world. And it is now up to four queer teens to stop what is going on they are trying to stop this serial killer, and they all seem to be connected to fairy in some way. And each of them holds a key piece to the mystery and are forced to come together in a tenuous alliance to figure out who this person is and what's going on. While in the background, there also seems to be a war brewing between the immortal and mortal realms. This seems like it's going to be so much fun and so interesting, and like so many books that I have loved before. And I'm so excited for this like new setting in Toronto as well well, and I just cannot wait to dive in. All right, this next book is also another witchy book, and 
that is Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley. So this book follows two different main characters, and the first one is Tamsin, who is the most powerful witch of her generation. But when Tamsin commits the ultimate magical sin, she is exiled by the ruling coven, and they also strip her of her ability to love. And so if Tamsin wants to feel the emotion of love at any point for even just a moment, she needs to steal it from another person. And then our other main character on the flip side is Ren, who is something called a source. And so sources are people that are imbued with magic but are unable to use it themselves. And sources are required to train with the covens the moment that they discover their powers, but Ren has been hiding her powers all her life because she's been taking care of her ailing father and she cannot leave him. But these two characters come together when a magical plague ravages the kingdom and Ren's father falls victim. And so Ren, in order to help her father, strikes a bargain with Tamsin. If Tamsin will help her find the dark witch who started the plague and stop it, then Ren will give Tamsin her love for her father, which is this, you know, boundless thing. But of course, love bargains are a tricky thing, and I am so excited to see where this is going to go. It also seems like it's going to be a sapphic romance as well, so I'm very excited about that. And it's just so interesting to see how their powers are very different, and how their places in this magical society are very layered and sort of hierarchical. So I'm very interested to see where this book is going to go. All right, the next book that I want to talk about is one that I've heard so many amazing things about, and so many great reviews about, and that is Ray Bearer by Jordan. And Ifuko. So this follows our main character, Teresai, who has grown up basically in isolation for most of her life with only her mysterious and absentee mother, who is known as the Lady. But when Teresai comes of age, the Lady sends her to the capital of the global empire to compete to become one of the Crown Prince's Council of Eleven. And the interesting thing about the Council of Eleven is that all of them are joined together in this bond that is stronger than blood, and it's called Rei. And Teresai, who who has lived in isolation for most of her life and never really felt the warmth of another person really wants this connection. But obviously this comes with a little bit of a twist. The lady has a sinister plan and she has commanded Teresai with this like magical command to kill the crown prince once she gains his trust. And this is giving me major Ella Enchanted the movie vibes and I'm just so excited for this aspect. And obviously it seems like Teresai is not ready to just bow down to her mother's will and I'm so excited to see that struggle also. I'm also getting major like Tangled vibes or rapunzel e vibes from this as well. So so I'm super, super excited for this and just the fantasy landscape and the idea of this magical bond, but also the potential for maybe a romance with the crown prince. I'm not sure, but I'm very excited for this book. All right, the next book is one that's been on my TBR for ages, and the second book recently came out as well, and that is All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. So I'm super excited to pick this up soon because it seems like a little bit of a like royal fantasy with some pirates thrown in and some badass female main characters. So this follows our main character, Amora Montara, who is the princess of the island kingdom of Visidia. And she's been training her entire life to take on the mantle of the High Animancer, which is the Master of Souls. And it looks like other people in the kingdom are able to choose the type of magic that they want to do, but Amora really wants to secure her place as the heir to the kingdom and wants to master the most difficult magic, which is soul magic. But when a demonstration to the public goes awry, Amora is forced to to flee, and she strikes up a bargain with a mysterious pirate named Bastian, and he'll help her escape and help her prove that she is fit to rule if she'll help him reclaim his stolen magic. But it seems like there are other things rumbling in the background of this main plotline with destructive new magic on the horizon. And it also seems like Bastian and Amora will be going on a bit of a journey and sailing through the kingdom, and it also says that she'll be meeting some vengeful mermaids, which I am so excited about. So I think this is going to be overall just just really really cool and interesting. I love that it has like the pirate aspect but also these other legendary monsters and creatures and I think it's just going to be a really fantastic journey story but I also love that she's trying to reclaim her place. Very very excited for this and one thing that I thought was really cool is that the author Adeline Grace worked as an intern at Nickelodeon's The Legend of Korra which I just thought was a really cool 
fact. So very excited for this. All right, so those are all of the books that are on the top of my fantasy TBR to be read pile, and I cannot wait to pick them all up. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited to pick up any of these books and what you guys thought of them if you have picked them up. And I would love to hear also if you have some fantasy books that are on your TBR that you're really excited to get to. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm Jenny from the channel The Story Ain't Over, and I will see you in the next episode of Hashtag Epic Book Rags. Bye! Yeah.